In July 2019, shark investigators attended the Cheyenne Frontier Days Rodeo in Cheyenne, Wyoming. As usual, each rodeo performance concluded with a cruel, dangerous, and utterly pointless event called the Wild Horse Race. How pointless is this ridiculous event? In a promo piece in the local newspaper, a rodeo thug admitted the roots of the event. Years ago, it was done by the local drunks. Forget any claims of ranch history or Western tradition. We're going to show you how the West was about 100, 150 years ago. The name of the event is a lie. These horses aren't wild. They're intentionally terrorized. It's the other 15 horses that are going to be out there, and they don't like this one bit. Besides being mauled by a team of thugs, explosives are used to keep the horses as spooked as possible. And somebody lit the cannon. It's the horse. Whoa, that looks good. It's like getting with it down there. The thugs gang tackle their victims with the intention of forcing a saddle on. So one thug can attempt to ride around a track. Here we go. This organized chaos causes needless stress and the risk of injury. Team number 28, Gus Austin, and team number 30. And even death. During the performances, announcer Andy Stewart made lighthearted remarks about the fear the horses were enduring. The Cheyenne Frontier Days Rodeo is sanctioned by the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association, or the PRCA, which has no problem at all with the terrorizing, injuring, and the killing of horses in the falsely named wild horse race. So who's your supervisor? Tell me, who's your supervisor? You have a supervisor? It's okay, you can tell me. Sir, who's your supervisor? You're with Cheyenne Frontier Day, so who's your supervisor? The best way to oppose rodeo cruelty is to boycott corporate sponsors such as Coca-Cola, Bank of the West, Dodge Ram trucks, and all Dodge vehicles. Before we go, we're adding this message to each video that exposes a PRCA-sanctioned rodeo. And because the PRCA is the largest rodeo association, that's most of them. We have on numerous occasions tried to bring specific concerns and allegations of abuse to George Taylor, the commissioner of the PRCA. These include the brutal abuse of steer busting, the disappearing of injured rodeo animals, the shocking of rodeo animals, and other cruelty. The concerns and allegations are founded on decades of video documentation and in some cases on official government records, all of which we have placed in the public domain for all to see. That Commissioner Taylor will not respond to the evidence leads to just one conclusion, that Mr. Taylor understands that the weight of the evidence is overwhelming and that there is no defense for the abuse, and most disturbingly, that Mr. Taylor, his administration, and the PRCA generally has absolutely no intention to change a thing. We find Mr. Taylor's determined indifference to be repulsive, no honor or dignity whatsoever. Corporate sponsors, supporters in the media, and of course those in the stands share in the cruelty, corruption, and cowardice. Mr. Taylor, you have a standing invitation to come out of your hole, step into the light, and man up. I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. To learn more about rodeo animal abuse, visit rodeocruelty.com. Thank you for watching. 
please subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help shark help animals. To support Shark directly and gain access to exclusive content, consider sponsoring us on Patreon.